Hello today! And today we're going to have a game of Limons 2 on the MSX. Now the first one was a bit crap. The second one... Is it going to be as crap? Or is it going to be better? Well, it's in demo mode. And once again, you can't get out of demo mode. Push fire on the joystick? No, you can't get out of demo mode. Escape? No. So, you know, you know what? So they didn't make, they didn't correct the mistake from the first game then, so. If it's in demo mode, what's wrong with pushing the fucking space bar? To get out of demo mode. Is that too much of a mission? To code a game like that. Go in demo mode. Push space bar. Push enter. Get out of demo mode. No. It's too much to... I fucking... Uh, you know... So... I've got to remember, if I want to start the game, push space bar when the, the, the car comes up, the picture. Because otherwise you go into demo mode and, it, and you can't get out of it. It's a bit stupid that. Right, here we go. So, now I know it's the same deal with the joystick. It's forwards because I've tested it. How's the handling? Is the handling going to be improved? No. The game isn't improved. You just got different colour graphics, that's all. So what the fuck is the difference between the game? It, it, oh my goodness. Still the same sound effects. Still got the laggy controls. The, oh my goodness. It's exactly the same fucking game. How do I have the audacity to call this Le Mans 2 when it's the same fucking game as this first one, except for the cars a different colour? That's it. Same controls, same laggy fucking controls. How's this 2? I wouldn't even say it's 1.1. Because the only, I don't know even know if the track's different. It's just, it's just the same on unplayable crap. It really is. You know, you, you'd think you'd improve the game. As far as I know, this didn't. This is not a spe spectrum port. I don't even think this come out in the spectrum. So I don't know if it's a port from anything, but it seems like it is a port because the game is rubbish and the MSX is capable of much better. I've played some good MSX games. That utilises the two buttons on the controller. This doesn't utilise any of the buttons on the controller. You're just, you're just pushing forward to accelerate, so it just makes me think this is a port from something else. It's it's absolutely got the first. It's got the same problems as the first Le Mans game, which is the same fucking game. It's the same fucking game. There's no difference. There's no difference whatsoever. There's no difference whatsoever in gameplay. It's the same unplayable crap. Seriously. I mean, even the road is doing the same thing. You know, you think it going around a corner, it just changes. Look at that. Where's the corner? It's just, the corner's just coming so fast. You, I don't, it's just crap. You 
We have got brakes, but they're un, um, just unresponsive, just like the rest of the fucking game. It's the same game. Oh, I've done a lap. I've done a lap. I've, I've, I've played enough. I've played enough. I really have. It's the same as the first fucking game. An unimplay, uh, an unplayable fucking piece of shit. The graphics might look nice, but the game itself is rubbish. And there's nothing, no difference between the first game. It's got the same issues. It's got the same... It, it, it's just basically the same game. The only difference is the cars are different colour. That's it. That's all there is. Difference. The cars are different colour. The rest of the game is exactly the same. So I don't know why it's called Le Mans 2. Clearly it isn't a sick second game. It's the first game just with different colours. That's it. I can't notice anything else about it. Anyway, I ain't playing this no more. It's shit. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.